Hi guys, hopefully you've watched my previous audition about my first round Erdang audition. If you haven't, the link is, should be up here, techno. This is a video about my funding recall audition. It's also the same if you just get a recall recall audition. So basically a funding recall is that you're in, it's just if you're getting any extra help with the funding and if your degree or diploma. And a recall audition is you're not actually in, they need to see more of you to see if you're going to get a place. Everyone has different time slots. The day for me started at 8.15, so you know, you wanna be there at eight o'clock. And there was around 25 of us there. Another 25 arrived about 11 o'clock, and then another 25 arrived about two o'clock. So it's not just the 25, there is more and more people, but they separate it out this time. So there's not so much waiting around. My day did finish about half three, so it's not as long a day. So we started off with the dance call. It was basically exactly the same as the first round. Again, just the ballet class. This time, the dreaded Devlope exercise you had to do in the center with no bar, so that was even harder. But don't worry because I totally failed and I got in anyway, so it's fine. This time there is a panel of four, a live pianist and a ballet teacher. I don't know if this is every audition, but there was a casting director on my panel and they were filming you as well. So don't be put off by that, but that's just how it is. More people on the panel this time. So it's the same again, ballet class, quick change <laughs> into the jazz class. The jazz class, so it was again like a kick, leap, box, jazz exercise in twos and then we went straight into the routine and when I say straight into the routine I mean they went through it like counts wise and then they went okay go so they'd said on the email it's the same routine so you can practice this is what the song is if you want to practice <laughs> you need to practice they expect you to know it from the last round so yeah you need to learn the routine. Obviously, again, they're not bothered if every single step is exactly right. They just wanna know that you can hold the dance and, um, what was that? <laughs> um, you can improvise and they do the freestyle again and that you're comfortable and confident and you can perform with your face. Wear the exact same clothes that you wore for your first round, which as a general rule, it just may re-trigger their memory of what you did last time. I think that was it for the dance round. It's basically exactly the same as what you did before. Then we had an interview. Again, they were really friendly, really nice. The specific questions they asked me. Why degree this time? Obviously because now I'd got in, but they were saying degree or diploma. They were making their decision. So they said to me, why degree? Then she asked me this one, which was quite random, but it's to do with the degree. It was what kind of things do you like to research? But I think it's because at the end of third year, you do like a research project. So it was basically you saying, yes, I understand that. You know, I'm gonna have to do more written work in this. And these are the kind of things I am interested in. Like I'm not just a performer. Like I do love to research musical theater. What did I say? I said, I love like off Broadway musicals and finding musicals that not necessarily a lot of people know about because I think there's a lot of ones that are incredible that don't get enough credit. I think someone else that I was talking to said, oh, I just spoke about how much I love Fosse and like all the things I know about Fosse. So it's, it doesn't matter what you say, it's just you having the confidence to say, yes, I love researching this or I am interested in musical theatre other than performing. I like to know about the history of it and things. They said, where else have you been offered a place and where does Erdang stand within that? So again, just be honest with them. What are your strengths? Which track do you see yourself going on to? So Erdang do, in second year, they split you into tracks of actor, singer, triple threat, and dancer. So them just getting an idea of what track you think you'd go on to. Obviously, and she said to me in my interview, she was like, it will completely change once you're here. And then any questions? Have I got any questions to ask? It's always good to have some questions to ask them. This is your chance to ask them more about what your experience at the school will be like because at that point um especially for me like i knew that i wanted to go to Irvine, so i was finding out more about how do i find a house where am i going to be living how many people commute what research projects have other third years been doing 
etc etc then I had my singing call which is the last thing I did so you don't do a monologue at your funding recall they say that they just judge your acting and your acting through song and the acoustics in the singing room if they use the same one are gorgeous like you come out like oh my gosh I've never sounded so good <laughs> so this time there is three of them on the panel also a pianist obviously it changes day to day and whatever they said again sing your favorite song sing the one you want to sing so I did that and then he also so asked me to sing a section of my legit song so be prepared to do that go in with both your songs in case they ask you to sing a different one yeah I think that was it and then after after you've done your singing you're free to go you're free to leave you wait around two to three weeks for an email deciding whether you're on the degree or the diploma and of course if this isn't your funding recall if it's just your recall as a recall um, it's exactly the same structure all the way through but they will then decide okay are you in or are you not are you degree or do you need to play so it's a, it's the same setup but it's just a slightly different outcome and you get an email saying whether you're on the degree or the diploma and also whether you've secured any extra funding any extra bursaries or scholarships with that as well i think that is it for your erdang recall slash funding recall if you've got any other questions please don't hesitate to ask them in the comments and i will try my best to answer them good luck at erdang it's really fun it's a really great day lush building yeah have fun good luck are you joking <laughs>